Part 3. This time I'll be reacting to Llama Art Still, but scary Ouija board stories. The title speaks for itself. Let's get down to it. Ever since I can remember, we've always had one of those old vintage Parker Brother Ouija boards sitting in our closet collecting dust. When I was a kid, I always wondered what it was. From the box, it seems like a horrible board game. Until one day I found out what a Ouija board really is, and immediately dug it out of the closet. I insisted on my brother trying it out with me, and eventually got him to play along. We put our hands on the planchette, and I began asking the typical cliche questions like, Is there anybody there? And, Can you answer me? Other than my brother jokingly moving the planchette around to imitate an answer from some kind of entity, there was no real response. After getting bored, we put the game back in the box. I did a little research that night to find out how to make Ouija boards work. Many people said online that the most ideal environment when using a Ouija board is in a dark room only lit by candles. So when my parents weren't home, I managed to gather like six or seven candles and convinced my brother to try it one more time. I lit the candles and set them around the table in the dining room with all the lights out. We tried one more time. I asked again if there was anybody there. The planchette began to move. I told my brother to stop moving it, but he swore he wasn't. I told him to move his hand away, and he did. It kept moving. My brother thought I was messing with him, but I didn't pay attention. The planchette landed on the word, yes. I was only nine, so I was legitimately shitting myself. My older brother had to take over. He asked the question... Are you a good spirit? There was a five second pause before my brother's hand moved along with the planchette to the word, no. We both looked at each other, and at this point I ran to my room and shut the door behind me, but he continued on with the so-called game. I heard his muffled voice come from down in the dining room, when all of a sudden I heard him screaming at the top of his lungs. I ran back downstairs to see what was wrong. He was holding up his shirt revealing a small open wound that almost looked like a claw mark. He told me to set the fireplace immediately, and I obeyed. He threw the thing in the fireplace and told me to never speak of what happened to anybody. We have never used a Ouija board since. That was it. Okay, that was it. Well, for one, yeah, you should play it if you ever choose and have the balls to play the Ouija board. You play it in the dark with candles, but you should never remove your hand at all or just walk away without saying goodbye. They didn't say goodbye. I've played the Ouija board before. It does, it works, but it also, like the video said, people can easily just fuck around with you. And move it without you knowing. Or to say as a joke. But you should never play the Ouija board on your own. Because that will happen. When I played it, I'll admit, the vibe in the room changed instantly. Well, I mean, when we first played it, there was like a cement bag behind us. And as soon as we started moving moving it, like asking questions, the cement bag just fell. And it was full. So there was no way any of us would have just pushed that or even if we banged on the floor or anything it would not have fell it just fell completely on the floor just flat and it was full of already cement so if you do actually play the ouija board i do not suggest doing it because it does work it is real i know i'm gonna get hate for that but in my experience it is real and you do not want to mess with the things on that board and I'm still dealing with shit from that. So I suggest you never touch an Ouija board. I suggest you not to get it. Anyway, I've got one more Llama Art video to do. So, see you in the next one.